So guys, you can see that uh, all these uh, politicians, they so much love power. They love power. Now that they have told all those uh, aspirants who are holding one appointment or the other, who are still holding political appointment or the other, to resign. They don't want to resign. They want to eat their cake and have it. Um, those who are proving stubborn. The AGF, Malami, Ngige, and CBN governor. I don't know what they really want. They want to eat their cake and have it. It's not possible. But in as much as uh, the, there's that demand for them, there's pressure for them to resign or they hold on to their position. <laughs> so unfortunate that uh, these guys... Uh, <laughs> because they all know that majority of them know that uh, they are not going to get this uh, uh, presidential ticket, especially those who are vying for the position of the president. But unlike uh, the AGF, one one is going for what is it called? Is going for governorship uh, position. Uh, he might likely get it, but all those uh, presidential aspirants uh, forget them. They are going nowhere. <laughs> now you know what is happening now. Huh? Both Ngigi and Malami, they've withdrawn from the race <laughs> to remain to remain as the justice, uh, Nigeria Justice Minister and also the Labour Minister, two of them. The Nigeria Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar, has pulled out of Kebi State Governorship race, multiple sources to Sahara reporters. Malami had in April declared interest in the Kebi State Governorship race. He also distributed over 200 exotic cars. So, on towards all of those uh, distribution to party members ahead of the governorship primary in the state. On Wednesday, he submitted his 50 million naira nomination form at the International Conference Center. Several sources close to the minister said he withdrew from the race over fear that he may not get the ticket. There have been a cold political war between the incumbent governor of Kirby State, Atiku Bagudu, and the political arrowhead of Kebi, Senator Adamu Aleru, over who succeeds the former. Why Bagudu, who chairs the Progressive Congress Forum, is rooting for Malami as his successor. Aleru, a two-term governor of the state, as Senator leader, Sen as Senate leader, Yaya Abdullahi, as his preferred candidate for the APC governorship election. Hmm. Also in Gigi, himself oh my goodness <laughs> Ngigi has also withdrawn from the race hmm. you can imagine withdrawn from the, race. Hmm. the minister of labor and productivity chris Gigi, on friday also said he has withdrawn from the 2023 presidential race and he ends remains in president muhammadu buhari's cabinet as a minister that one eh there's zero percent that he's going to get it. He can't even get. He can't get it to get. In a press statement obtained by Sahara reporter signed by the minister and titled "Withdrawal of Ms. My Presidential Aspiration," Gigi said he took the decision after consulting with his constituents and political associates. They can always. They're always proud. I don't. I don't know what they always feel like. I consulted my constituents. Who know you? What constituents concerning about the constituents? Because I didn't say, are you going to get it in the first place? They will just be making things so. So big as if uh, there's so, something special about them. <laughs> as if uh, people care about them in the first place. Today, May 13th, I had an audience with the President Muhammadu Bari as a follow up to the one I earlier had with him on May 11, 2022. Having also consulted widely hmm, with my family, <laughs> we hear my family, my constituents, supporters, and well wishers. It is my pleasure to announce the withdrawal of my interest and earlier decision to contest the office of the president in the 2023 presidential general elections he said on wednesday yes uh buhari had asked all members of the federal executive council contesting elective position in 2023 to resign they were asked to submit their letters of resignation or on or before Monday, the 16th of May, 2016, according to the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, the other excludes the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibaju, because he is an elected member of the cabinet. Mohammed added that 
if the need arises, the directive might involve political appointees. <laughs> it's going nowhere now, of course. So, does it mean it's going to get its 200 or okay, 100 million naira back or what? Or that one don't enter voice me. He was never serious. He knows he doesn't even stand a chance. I think somebody was saying is that all of them, they are going to resign at the end of the day or withdraw at the end of the day. What is this? Minister contribution in government more than provoking the minds of Nigerian citizens. Attire, that is just what he has been doing. <laughs> you know, I, will, I consulted my constituents, I consulted my family. <laughs> so who know you? They only raise money for their party. I knew from the onsets. After investing 100 million naira, he cannot relax and wait for his dividends after 2023. But he has collected form already. He has to go. In the APC, we give the president 2023. Mad people everywhere a bed at hand what's more than millions in the bush greedy politicians these people are doing something that we the civilians don't know <laughs> yes that we don't know can someone explain better anyway he has contributed to the campaign fund 100 million naira so the 100 million naira he used to purchase the form has gone now i understand why nam they can call them intellectuals and if lefu. the money can be used in this locality or in this locality to better the life of poor people hmm. these guys are not bothered about uh, the, <laughs> the the masses or the poor people they, they think they have their time they don't have their time oh. even the one that shared a uh, uh, 200 exotic cars <laughs> that one eh, if you calculate it that one will be running into million billions of naira hmm. uh, Billions of naira. This is not a joke. Now they are withdrawing. Withdrawing. They try away. They are withdrawing onto, <laughs> onto what they don't even understand. He's enjoying ministerial affluence. He doesn't want to miss it. He's sure he can't even win any election. This bunch just wasted our money. As Jonah don't enter the race, things will start falling apart. Make it no come lose chasing two rats at the same time. He was not even going to contest in the first place, so there's no point. There's no point at all. Even uh, Malami himself is here to fulfill his mission as one of the top uh, agendists. Abubakar Malami is taxed to imprison Namdekano, blackmail IPOB by causing opera in the East through unknown gunmen and military. They don't even want to leave that ministerial post as Buhari asks them to resign. So the Minister of Justice is better than. KB State Governor Abi, go and prepare yourself for Vice President. Your contribution towards the success of this government cannot be overemphasized. Hey, from where? Mm -hmm. now there, there are people with that. He knows he will never even win even local government election. Now. No be by appointment he get there. Who said the Electoral Act as amended is not wonderful? Gradually, Nigeria will get there. Just as the electoral process is being sanitized, the structure and system of governments in Nigeria will also be put in right shape with gradual amendments of the constitution. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this.